Hey, what is up, guys? Mixoplex here. In today's video, we're going to be showing you guys the entire Season 8 reward list from start to finish. Now, before we get into this video, make sure you guys hit that like button. Consider subscribing for more content like this. So, let's get straight into it. Now, we managed to do this in just under, I would say, 15 and a half hours. Uh, unfortunately, a lot of the new stuff doesn't actually count for Renown, which is kind of unfortunate. But uh, we were still able to weave in some PvE to kind of... Uh, allow ourselves to get this and honestly it's pretty quick this season uh, i almost think it's about as easy as season one if you want to know how to do it just go do some world events turn in the loot it goes really quick it's weird but it does so let's get straight into it if you guys want to see these co uh, cosmetics and such let's go ahead and uh, get this underway so we have the ravenwood costume one and we have the ravenwood flag as well as the sails of cursed bone and the top flag uh flag of cursed bone so let's go ahead and check this out very quickly uh, we are at new golden sands actually which is kind of nice definitely we're checking out if you haven't been here yet so this outfit i'm gonna be real is kind of clean uh the reason why i really like it is it's got a nice like like a little like look to it not only that the best part about this is like you, this is one of the very few costumes where you can actually add a hat of your choice so say if i wanted to rock this plus um my favorite slouch hat actually possible so Pretty cool. Not much else here, unfortunately, I think in terms of player models. So let's go ahead and check out the boat stuff. Now, I will say I haven't even looked at any of this stuff. We've been going hard today in the PvP. If you haven't checked out the stream, make sure you guys check us out. We will have drops when this is posted uh, this following morning. Um, should be fun, man. Should be uh, should be a good time. But we have the sales of cursed bone. Uh, these are right here. Uh, then we need the top flag. We'll take a look at these real quick. Okay, so I think one of these is bugged, unfortunately. I think the sales of Cursed Bone is bugged. Uh, it appears... I think uh, one of my teammates was mentioning this earlier, and I wasn't really too aware of what he was saying, but we do have uh, this one. It appears we don't have this, uh, this one, actually. Yeah, we do not have Flag of Cursed Bone, so that's not technically in yet. Um, but we do have the Nightwood... Uh, kind of cool. This whole set, if I'm being honest, I'm not really a big fan of, but uh, regardless, I am a collector, so getting stuff like this is always nice. Because you never know, man. You never know when you might want to use it. Or a boat, you know, a ship set. It's always nice to have something in, in reserve, essentially. Well, standard sails, no cut, nothing. Looks kind of cool. Um, but yeah, not much else here. So unfortunate that flag is bugged. So we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the next tier, uh, 11 through 20. Now we're actually getting into some of the nitty gritty here, uh, including the Ravenwood capstan and the hull. I actually haven't even looked at the spyglass yet. So let's go ahead and throw this stuff on uh, as is. Let's go ahead and default our entire boat here. All right, so that's, all right, so we're gonna do Ravenwood capstan Ooh, that's kind of nice. Now, just to be sure here, we're going to be looking at uh, hull as well. Ooh, nice color. I do want to check out this spyglass as well. Where is spyglass actually? Here it is. Ooh, yeah, I like that. Okay. Uh, and then for this, we're going to take off the costume, put on the shirt. We're going to put on the shirt of Cursed Bone. And the hat that is required of us. The hat of Cursed Bone. Alright, let's take a... Let's take a gander at this. So, not bad. It's got kind of a bone. Nice little red feather. The shirt, honestly... I did wear this on stream today for most of the day. I kind of like it. I like that it's kind of got like a rib cage kind of open thing, kind of going for it, but not bad. Here we have the spyglass, which is pretty cool. Has a slight tint to it, but regardless, to, I, I don't know about you guys that are watching this video. I love the fact that they're using just this look on basic models. Like we're not going for some crazy looking like you know special model essentially this is just basic sailor stuff with a, a nice ghostly look to it and i really can honestly appreciate that so hats off to rare this kind of stuff definitely a vibe uh i mess with it 
All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the capstan. Kind of cool, actually. Wanted poster. You got some gold coins. That's actually kind of sick. Holy crap. This is actually a nice capstan. Yeah, this is nice. I like it. Um, we'll have to see this in the daylight, but not bad. Not bad at all. And here we are looking at the... How's the interior of this, actually? Let me... Is this dark down below? Uh, not too bad. So, again, we'll use it. We'll definitely use it at some point. But all in all, I mean, we'll have to see this again in the daylight. But this is, so far, it looks pretty good. All right, so that is going to be it for this tier. I know we're bringing this out quickly, but I do want to make this short as quick as possible. So uh, now we have the wheel and the basic sails. So let's see the wheels. Ooh, and the basic sails. Ooh, I love that. That's kind of neat. Again, blue, this isn't really my color scheme, but uh, I mean, I, I appreciate it. As for the sail, again, no cutout, nothing like that. Not that it's needed or required, but it is nice. Um, kind of a, a fold, if I'm being honest. Kind of cool. Not bad. Not bad at all. Uh, let's take a look at what we have for tier three still. We need, uh, we need peg leg, mask, and jacket. Okay. Or face paint, sorry. Face paint. Let's go ahead and head to this section right here. Peg leg will be on the last one. And jacket. Let's go ahead and throw this on as well. Now, this jacket, I'm personally just going to say it. Um, I love this look. I think this look is really cool. It's very unique. Which is cool is also has some glyphs on the back. Um, if someone wants to decipher this, there you go. I'll leave it on the screen for just a moment. But this has kind of like a like a priestess, like a priest look to it, right? And I think that's kind of cool. Honestly, it's it's neat. It's different, and I like it. Like, on, like, it's all about appreciation of like new stuff, new concepts, and for me, that's that's huge. So, and here we have the peg leg. Not bad. I'll have to take this off to actually show it off in full form, but it looks kind of cool. Again, I'm not a big fan of peg legs, but if that is your vibe, if that is what you like to use, that's what it looks like. All right, and for the face paint, this is what you have here. Honestly, this isn't a bad one. It kind of reminds me of like the, uh, you know, the black and white face paint from year one, which is still probably one of my favorites. But honestly, this is kind of a close second. I honestly kind of enjoy it. Like it, it the shading on it's good, and it does mix with this bone set quite well. All right, for the next tier, we're gonna have the dress, the the tattoos, the back piece, and the basic figurehead. So we're gonna go ahead and do, um, we'll do the pants real fast. We'll do dress real f uh, quick as well. And the tattoos. So let's show the tattoos off real quickly. Uh, again, I will have to say, I don't really like these, but Everybody's got their thing. Everyone's got their flavor. Every you know, make your style your own. Essentially, for me, I don't think these will be it. They are very, very like fr uh, front and back heavy. There's nothing on your feet, nothing on your hands. So, unfortunately, that's, that's something I'm. I probably won't use it because again, I'm a a diehard fan of the of the original, you know, Bone Crusher. So for me, this is what it is. Now, before we throw on our dress, let's go ahead and look at our pants. Again, the set kind of goes with the set. Let's go ahead and take a knee here. The knees are kind of cut out. It's kind of got like a nice gold to it. Pretty cool. Definitely goes with the set, but definitely a fan. It's like black and gold, which is kind of nice. All right, and here we have the dress. 
Now, I will say this is probably one of the better dresses in the game. I think this is something rare. If you're listening, which I hope you are, you guys kill it with design, but I feel like I feel like there needs to be more dresses out there that are like this. Like, I mean, not even like this, but just like this. I don't know. For some reason, I think this is really cool. Like my model or my character model could wear this technically, and I wouldn't feel too weird about it, which is kind of neat. So kind of cool, like maybe like a combat monk or something like that. I don't know. Kind of cool, though. I honestly like this. I'm, I was kind of apprehensive of it, but this could be this could we could go for a monk look, which is definitely cool. And there is uh, on both the jacket and the dress. There is glyphs there. If you guys want to again translate that, that'd be huge. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the basic figurehead as well. Haven't actually checked this out, but let's take a look. Oh, kind of cool. Again, this is for me. This is not my color theme, but I'm sure someone out there, uh, one of you viewers, definitely like this color theme. Uh, we can take a better look at the cap stand now. Again, really cool. I really, I think that's neat. I wish this was a different color. If this was a red, this would be huge. But. Let's go ahead and go to the next tier. We're actually knocking this out very quickly, and hopefully you guys are uh, okay with that. But here we have a few things we're going to have to cover. We have a couple of hairstyles. We have the Flame Hearts hat, the basic sword, and the Ravenwood costume too. So let's go ahead and take our sword out and the costume to kind of just knock this out real quickly here. And here's the emo costume, which I didn't cover right away. Each tier does have this. But here with this one, we do not have a like a, a, a helmet or a, like, I guess not a helmet, but a, like a hat that we can wear. Kind of cool. Kind of got the Plague Doctor look kind of look and the emo being pretty neat as well. Not bad, not bad at all. Now here's the Ghost Sword. Again, basic model, but what a cool reskin. Honestly, appreciate this so much. It's so cool. All right. Now for the last bits, we uh, will have a couple of hairstyles to take a look at, which I haven't even looked at yet. So we have the lick back hair of Cursed Bone. Now this is the hairstyle. And now we have the other one, which is a possibility. Kind of cool. My character for me just looks so weird with hair. So I was the thought of this ever being a thing. Just not my not my jam. All right. And now we have the flame heart hat, which I think is pretty dang cool. This is definitely one of those pieces where it's like bell has got a big hat. Flame has got a big hat. But for me, the Flame Heart hat speaks true to like, if you like you know, supporting Flame Heart, this is it. This is definitely the, the go to here. So let's go ahead and take a knee real quick and appreciate the look of this. Like just a thing of beauty. Absolutely love it. Props to Rare for even allowing this to have this, this is just so cool. It's one of those like kind of you can build a set around this, which is really cool. And that's going to be it for this tier. Now for the next one, uh, it's kind of short. We do have pistol boots and the Ravenwing cannons, which I haven't actually checked out yet. Uh, so let's go ahead and grab our pistol real quick. Put the Ravenwing cannons on. Yeah, I'm worried this is going to be a pretty bad model. And we'll put on the boots. I'm going to take off the dress. Oh, well, I do have a sight. Personally, probably won't use them. But again, if you like to do a full set, not bad at all. Definitely usable, but it will probably take a minute. Uh, for here, let's go ahead and show off the boots. Not bad. Not bad at all. You kind of have like some gold bands kind of going near like the, the ankle. Kind of cool. Definitely goes with the set for sure. 
And then for the pistol. Once more using the sailor model instead of something, you know, crazy, you know, extravagant kind of a model. Keeping it basic. I, again, I appreciate the, uh, how plain it is, but it's also just enough, right? We're not looking to, to reinvent the wheel here. All right, for the next tier, we're going to have the Gloves of Cursed Bone, the Eye of Reach, and the uh, Cannon Flare, which I unfortunately will have to say uh, is, well, you'll see it. All right, so unfortunately, <laughs> the texture bug did happen, so we did have to relog our client because that's the only way you can fix it. So uh, to kind of get back on what we were showing off here, we're going to be showing off the Gloves of Cursed Bone and the Eye of Reach of the Damned and the, the new Cannon Flare. So let's take a look at this real quick. It is tinted. It has a light tint to it. Honestly, I don't think it's too bad. Uh, it could be a lot worse, like a red or something, but definitely... Uh, I don't know. I'll probably use it. I think this is really cool. And again, using the basic model, which we all love and appreciate. Uh, now for the gloves, you guys can see here. Not bad. Not bad at all. Kind of like them. And now for what you guys all have been waiting for, let's go ahead and get the candle flare. Is it any good? And no, it's terrible. It's pretty bad, unfortunately, which is kind of sad, but most of these cannon flares when they do come out aren't really the greatest. So it is what it is. Now to kind of go into the next tier, we are going to have uh, the belt of cursed bone, the hook of cursed bone and the collector's figurehead. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. All right, to kind of get things going while we have the time, here we go. We got the collector's figurehead. Oh, that's kind of cool. Huh? Interesting. I feel like this would be a good set with merchant actually. I feel like this is like a merchant color, but you could probably make use of right here. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the next pieces. We have hook here, so let's take a look at it. Not bad. Uh, unfortunately, it does have like an hourglass on it, so that's kind of cool. And then you have the belt, which is neat. Honestly, the belt is probably one of the better belts they've put in the game. Not overly sized, and again, does fit the pants. Definitely like it a lot. All right, so to kind of get into the last two tiers here, we're going to be get looking at the Beard of Cursed Bone, which is basically Flameheart's beard and the eye patch of Cursed Bone. And we also have the final piece of the, or the final costume, actually. So let's go ahead and check this out real quick. Uh, let's put on our beard of choice. Container's killing me. All right, so here you do have the final Ravenwood costume. Pretty cool, kind of has that witch doctor look. It's a different, it's a little bit of a different color scheme, but basically the same concept. Honestly, probably will never use it. A little too dark for my taste, but not bad. Definitely, it's definitely a nice set for sure. Uh, I wish this is kind of stuff we could buy, but I digress. So let's go ahead and take this off and then we'll show off the final pieces of this set. So to kind of take a look at something we have, we have the new eye, uh, eye patch here, which is kind of cool. Very, uh, very much a call to Flameheart, which is kind of cool. And same with the beard. Again, very much a call to Flameheart, which is kind of cool. Honestly, I might see if I can you know mix up a set to kind of look cool with this. Uh, the eye patch is definitely part of uh, the overall set here. And it does glow quite orange, but unfortunately, because it is nighttime, we won't really be able to show it off too well. Uh, and any kind of torch kind of just ruins it uh, visually. Now for the final stuff here, we will show off the blunder bus of the damned. Yes, the blunder bus of the damned is quite awesome. Uh, then we also have uh, the scar of cursed bones, the flame hearts cutlass and the Ravenwood collector sales uh, to kind of show off the blunder. First, though, we have this bad boy. So let's go ahead and mix these up real quick. So again, basic Slayer model just has a nice skin to it. So you kind of know how to use these weapons. I mean, we've all been a sailor at some point and some of us still uses basic models to this day. Uh, so this is kind of cool. Honestly, really, really enjoy this. Now let's go ahead and switch up the sails real quick. I haven't actually looked at these or seen these, so let's see. Um, unfortunately, there's no cut on them. And if they look like their picture, yeah, they're just, they're very colorful. Again, not a set that I prefer to use, but whatever. <laughs> so 
So let's go ahead and show off the final stuff here. Uh, let's go ahead and put on the scar. And so there is, I will say, uh, straight up, just my opinion, this is probably the worst scar they've ever put in the game. Uh, and I'll show you in just a minute. Now, if you can see, this is where this is the scar. So, and, you know, normally when you have scars, they cover your body, they cover your face, you know, it adds character, adds, you know, a story essentially. Now this just puts a symbol on your hand and that is it. There's nothing on your legs. There's nothing on your back. Uh, we had one of our teammates who got it kind of do a 180 and like, hey, let's take a look. We can't find it. Uh, well, it turns out you only have minor cuts on the arm and then the uh, symbol on the top of your hand, which again, I'm going to be honest, it's kind of a letdown. But in my opinion, probably one of the worst scars they've had. They can't all be a banger, which is unfortunate. All right, for the final piece, we're going to be looking at the Cutlass called Flame Hearts Cutlass. A particular cool Cutlass and the last thing many pirates who stood against Flame Heart ever got to see. Yeah, so we are basically getting Flame Hearts hat and Flame Hearts blade here. Now, this thing is a freaking beast. I absolutely love this thing. I think it's cool. It's a different model than normal. This is why like, I love Rare when it comes to coming out with new sword models is because, you know, once you've seen one, you've seen them all essentially. And for them to actually kind of come out with these new or existing models and just allowing us to have them is so cool. While it does have the same functionality, it definitely has a very unique look. And if I'm gonna use a sword, I'm gonna be honest, I would much rather use this one versus the Ancient Cutlass, even though that ancient cutlass has a lot of value to me <laughs> and a lot of time wasted. This visually is still more appealing to me personally. There you guys have it. That is the preview to season eight renowned zero to 100. Uh, again, we finished this in 15 to 16 hours, but again, we were doing mostly the PVP. If you're looking to nuke this or to at least enjoy leveling at a decent rate, I recommend you do world events and just turn stuff in offload your stuff you'll be uh, so quite surprised uh how quick renown is kind of flowing through uh, i don't know if there's an issue or if some things just had higher value this season uh but renown is quite easy to get so this shouldn't be a hard pass for you to finish but my recommendation do world events and that is it so if you enjoyed this video guys make sure again you hit that like button consider subscribing for more content shorts and videos and come join us on twitch uh, as of this upload we will have drops for the next three days um one of the very few times we will so come on through hang out we're gonna be either doing a little bit of brig a little bit of sloop and just seeing how uh, far we can go in terms of kill streaks and see about getting our athena spirit form or blessing i guess uh in the days to come so thank you guys for watching and i will see you guys in the next one